Justin here again with another quick review. Sorry, I might look a little sweaty. Just went out for a walk, trying to stay active during this crazy time we're in. Um, and I took some time yesterday to watch Superman, Man of Tomorrow movie. And I'm going to give a quick review on it. And to be honest, it was okay. It was very, very lackluster in my opinion. So basically, with a Superman, Man of Tomorrow animated a movie, this is one of the most recent movies that dropped, uh, especially right after their slits movies they had, especially came to end with a uh, dark side movie with the justice league and everybody fighting and basically at the end of that movie reverse flash had to go back in time and change everything again and with doing that that changes everything that would happen through those years of those those through those slate of those movies i will leave a link i will leave a link below about um, those movies as well so basically this is kind of a start uh fresh with a superman uh we all know the story superman comes to earth his mom and dad uh, tra uh like basically raise him to be a good person and try to hide his powers and not let, not let people know who he is because afraid that what things might happen to him all right so it starts out with that he's going to metropolis he's he's learning to be a photographer he's just an intern and that's when we first see uh, lex luther uh, basically we all know lex he's a genius uh, he's a madman he likes uh, power and so on then you get to lois lane and lois lane basically she's uh, not new at this she's been a reporter uh lately and basically Basically, she she trumps uh, basically uh, Lex Luthor and uh, Clark gets enamored with her and everything. I like her character. Her character is very bold, outspoken. Um, she basically don't take crap from nobody, and I like that. I like that character out of her. Um, and really, also Superman just trying to figure out who he is and himself. He's saving people, so people know him. So we get him in not his Superman outfit, but we get him in a regular. Um, you know, goggles and a jacket, you know, disguise himself to help everybody out. And he's been helping people out, but people still don't know him because you still get, he is, is he a menace or is he a uh, good person or where he come from? Things like that. And I like that because, you know, that would people, people feel that if they don't know who you are, they don't know where you come from and things like that they prejudge you so quickly and so he's afraid of what he um you know what might happen when he comes out uh, so in, in this movie um as you see um in the thumbnail you have martian manhunter in um in this and uh his character i like his character is it you know we as we know him he's a Mar he's a um, uh, a Martian <laughs> from Mars, of course, uh, being the last, last of his kind, he come come to Earth. He can disguise himself, of course, and he, he tries to meet up with Clark because he know who Clark is. He know he's not from here, also being an alien. Then you get Lobo. Uh, Lobo, another uh, character from space. Uh, basically, Lobo comes because he was contracted to come kill him. So we do know that somebody out there knows who Clark is and know that they need to kill him because he could be a threat or whatever's trying to happen. So there's a lot of little, little Easter eggs on the windows in this uh, movie hinting at other things as well. Um, and they have a fight, of course. Um, and I like that. The Lobo isn't the main character. And also Lex Luthor is not the main character. That was one thing that bothered me. Uh, Lex Luthor not being the main character because you don't see Lex in the first half of the movie, uh, the movie, like the first, maybe 15, 16, 20 minutes, maybe you don't see him no more. You don't see him again until the third act of the movie, which I felt like that was a very, uh, that was a downfall because Lex Luthor, as we know, that is Clark Kent's main, uh, main bad guy so um that that bothered me a little bit because lex luther as we know he was the type of person that he didn't like he didn't like that person that had all that power and he couldn't control it technically and he was he was afraid who this person is so that was his trope that was his trope of basically we don't know who this person is we need to get him out but they didn't do that really they you know something happens and he gets arrested and you don't see him until much later into the end so he wasn't a really a big focus point on this movie which i feel like that hindered the movie a whole lot uh because that's what everybody looks for that that is superman's villain that is uh the villain that tries to outsmart superman because Superman's smart but lex luther is super smart so you know we like that but you didn't you don't you don't have that in this movie you have uh, a totally another bad guy which what they try to do with this bad guy is the first you see this person and you try to feel for them you know their background and something happens of course and that, that this bad person 
and you know besides like the lobo fighting things like that you don't get a you don't get a lot of a uh, superman really throwing down which i can understand maybe because this is, this is the first movie and into in the slate of more likely they'll have more movies in the future but i feel like they could have added lex Luthor more in this movie to build that animosity between each other I, I would like that you wouldn't get a glimpse of this much in in it later but you feel like uh you didn't see this coming you didn't know who he was aren't you a new aren't you a news reporter uh, when you know who lex is and you'll see more of that when you when you watch this so i felt like that dropped the ball as well um the the best things about this movie is the animation the animation is beautiful it's a very different type of style than what they had done before in the other slate of movies that came out it's more crisp it's almost like back to the 90s a little bit but more modern so it's like two blends of animation in this uh, and i like that the voice acting was uh, was good i think you have zachary quinto um in here he's he's playing uh, i think he's playing superman uh my apologies but you know a lot of good voice characters in here i don't really harp on the voice characters too much as long as you're good and as long as as long as it's not distracting and it fits their character i'm fine so but, but other than that um this movie to me the biggest things that fell flat was uh, the more character development, not enough uh, action to implement Superman to get engaged with him even more. Um, and I just felt like some things were just kind of rushed a little bit. Um, for like the main bad guy, as we know, it's not Lex. Um, you've seen the covers. You know the bad guys, that purple monster, of course. You've seen the thumbnails. You've seen the trailers. Is that purple monster, but you know how that person got there and what Superman does... To defeat the monster, I felt like it was lazy. I felt like that it could it could figure out some more ways to defeat this or another type of monster, something that he can beat. Um, you can fight, but also find other ways. I felt like he tried to fight this person, but you know, if he did something, this was going to happen. I'm not going to say, but that's going to happen. So he can't do it this way. So you try to figure another way, and the other way wasn't really a way it was you know, i feel like it was kind of laziness kind of show more of clark and his how he is and his uh where he's come from and what he embodies and that that i think that was so weak it just i just felt like at times this movie just felt boring um you would sit there and you just be like okay dialogue they're talking and a lot of times in this in animation you had that dialogue but you kind of have this you know fast 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 pace of dialogue action things like that and this didn't have that you know you know so with you know lex uh not being the main factor you're not getting as much as hoping what you can get for uh the bad guy not really being a bad guy you know really superman could really get his you know his fist into and really figure out certain things and it just uh in the pacing that's a lot of that fell flat in in this so if you're expecting a you know a fast-paced superman fighting and all that you're not gonna get this from this movie it's really a build-up which you can build a movie like that, but not having a lot of other things to implement, implement it to have a good balance. It's not going to do not going to uh, do so well and keep, and keep your attention to the movie. The Superman Man of Tomorrow, like I said, it's not a horrible movie, but it's lacking a lot of things that you were expecting in a Superman movie coming from a man that can almost, probably just do anything that he can. That he can want He's super strength. Uh, he blasts he can breathe a uh, cold air out of his mouth he can blow he can run fast so you know you expect a lot of things out, out, out of this movie uh, besides just the emotion aspect you would want the emotion aspect in this movie but plus uh, a little bit more as well and superman man of tomorrow i give it i give it a three out of five um, i don't think i'm being too harsh in the movie especially certain expectations that a lot of people i feel like would want in this movie you would want somebody that he, that can go toe to toe with um superman but also it doesn't have to be somebody that has to go to go toe to toe let it be somebody smart like lex luther certain things like that that you were expecting in this movie didn't hit i can see that we we want us to feel for this character and remind us that this character is um uh, is wholesome he uh, he has a heart of gold but i think as um normal fans and even fans that are that are not uh super fans or like nursing like that will understand what they're trying to do but give us more don't let us don't let us be sitting there like we're just waiting okay we know he's a good person but give us more uh, in this that's that's what i was looking for in this and it didn't um it didn't um uh, 
fit the expectation that I was giving it. But also in the trailers, it gives you this expectation like, okay, we're going to get this Superman. You have Lex Luthor. What's he going to do? He's going to add this, this, this monster. Is Lex going to control this? So you have already a narrative in your head, which you're expecting, which we all do that. But coming from a, coming from a comic book and what you see, what you read all the time, it's, it's kind of what you want to get, you know? Uh, so I feel like it's la- lacking that. I feel like they was trying to be a little bit too artistic in this movie. But like I said, it's, you know, teacher's own. You know, I enjoyed it uh, to what it was coming from, but I still give it at three. But if you if you liked it or didn't or was mixed about it, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you share it. Make sure you like this and subscribe for my next review. But until then, guys, I'll see you next time.